Good morning, dear students. How are all of you? We hope that you must be fit and fine. A very warm welcome to the first class of geometry. Before we learn anything from the subject, let's first understand the term geometry. Geometry is a branch of mathematics which deals with figures. In last few years, while learning maths, you have learned the concepts of points, lines, planes, different two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. But in standard 9, you will learn all this under a separate subject, that is geometry. So let's start with our first lesson. The name of the lesson is Basic Concepts in Geometry. If we split the word geometry, the two parts are geo and metria. Geo means earth and metria means majoring. Everyone is well aware of the great pyramids of Egypt. They were built almost 5000 years ago, but their shape and structure is so perfect. Without having some majoring scheme, it's impossible to build such a perfect and huge structure. The workers might have actually measured the land and the wonders were built. So, we can say that geometry was existing thousands of years ago. Let's see which are the basic building blocks of geometry. A point which is indicated by a simple dot. A line which is a set of such points. And a plane which is a set of such lines and points. By using these three, we can form various geometrical shapes. Here is a new concept for you. Coordinates of points. You all have learned number line, but the number line shown here is slightly different. Here you can observe some capital letters and some numbers written below them. The capital letters are known as the names of the points and the numbers written below them are known as coordinates of the points. I repeat, the numbers written below the letters are called as coordinates of points. We can find the distance between any two points by using two methods. First method is to count the number of units between the two points. For example, if we consider two points as A and C. From A to the next point, the distance is one unit. From that point to point B, distance is one unit. And from point B to point C, distance is one unit. So in all, points A and C are three units away from each other. So we can say distance of points AC is equal to three units. But when the number line is big and the points are far away from each other, this method is not feasible. In that case, we can use the coordinates of those points to find the distance. The distance between two points is obtained by subtracting the smaller coordinate from the larger coordinate. If we consider the same points A and C, then the coordinate of point A is negative 5 and the coordinate of point C is negative 2. Therefore, the distance between them can be obtained by subtracting the smaller coordinate that is negative 5 from the larger coordinate that is negative 2. The very important thing is the distance between any two points is a non-negative real number like the distance between two places is always a positive number. Similarly, the distance between any two points is a non-negative real number means a positive number. Let us see few examples of finding distance between two points. The example is from the given number line find the distance between points P and C and the number line is shown here. To find the distance First, we have to find their coordinates. Therefore, coordinate of point P is negative 4 and coordinate of point C is 3. We know that 3 which is a positive number is greater than the negative number that is negative 4. Therefore, distance can be obtained as 
larger coordinate minus smaller coordinate. Therefore, distance PC is equal to coordinate of C minus coordinate of P is equal to 3 minus negative 4 which is 3 plus 4 and the distance of PC is 7 units. Let us solve one more example. Find distance between points J and H and we are referring the same number line here. Again, the coordinate of point J is negative 2 and coordinate of point H is negative 1. Here, both the coordinates are negative. We know that negative 1 is greater than negative 2. Therefore, the distance is equal to larger coordinate minus smaller coordinate. Therefore, distance JH is equal to coordinate of H minus coordinate of J which is equal to negative 1 minus negative 2 is equal to negative 1 plus 2 and the answer is 1 unit. Now, let us discuss the concept of betweenness. You all must be aware of collinear points. The points which lie on the same line are called collinear points. If there are three collinear points P, Q and R, there are three possibilities to check which point lies between the remaining two. First possibility is point Q between points P and R. Second possibility is point R between points P and Q. And third possibility is point P between points R and Q. If the distances among each pair of points are given, we can find out which point lies between the remaining two. Let us refer to the first figure. If distance PQ plus distance QR is equal to distance PR, then it is said that point Q is between points P and R. Here if you observe the left hand side of the equation, point Q is common among the two pairs. So, we can say that the point which is common is between the remaining two. The betweenness is shown as P dash Q dash R which is the sequence in which the points lie on the number line. Now let us see few examples to find the betweenness. From the given information, find which of the point is between the other two. The distances are like this. Distance PR is equal to 7. Distance PQ is equal to 10. And distance QR is equal to 3. To solve such questions, few easy steps we have to follow. First step is find out which is the largest distance and make it as equation number 1. So here, distance PQ is equal to 10 is the largest distance. Therefore, distance PQ is equal to 10 is equation number 1. In the next step, we will add the remaining two distances and make it as equation number 2. So, distance PR plus distance QR is equal to 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 equation number 2. In the next step, we have to compare the right hand sides of both the equations. So, here both the equations right hand side are 10. As the right hand sides are equal, the left hand side should also be equal. So, from 1 and 2 we can say distance PQ is equal to distance PR plus distance QR. Now, observe the right hand side. Point R is common among the two pairs. That means that R point should come between the remaining two points. Hence, the points P, R and Q are collinear and point R is between points P and Q. That is, the betweenness is P dash R dash Q. Let us see one more example. Which of the point is between the other two? If the points are not collinear, state so. The distances given are distance RS is equal to 8, distance ST is equal to 6 and distance RT is equal to 4. For solving this question, we will follow the same steps which we have used in the previous question. So, first find out the largest distance. Distance RS is equal to 8 which is the largest distance and first equation as well. 
सो डिस्टेंस आर एस इज इक्वल टू एट इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप डिस्टेंस एस टी प्लस डिस्टेंस आर टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड इट इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ वी हैव टू कंपेयर द राइट हैंड साइड वन नंबर इज एट एंड वन नंबर इज टेन विच आर नॉट इक्वल दैट मीन्स आर एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू आर एच एस ऑफ इक्वेशन टू सो देर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड शुड ऑल्सो नॉट बी इक्वल दैट इज द सम ऑफ द डिस्टेंसेस बिटवीन टू पेयर्स ऑफ पॉइंट इज नॉट इक्वल टू द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द थर्ड पेयर ऑफ पॉइंट देर फोर द गिवन पॉइंट आर एस एंड टी आर नॉन कोलिनियर सो देर इज नो पॉइंट इन फाइंडिंग द बिटवीननेस ऑफ द गिवन पॉइंट लेट इज सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन अ नंबर लाइन पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी आर सच दैट डिस्टेंस ए सी इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड डिस्टेंस सी बी इज इक्वल टू एट फाइन डिस्टेंस ए बी कंसिडरिंग ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज हियर एज वी हैव बीन गिवन ओनली टू डिस्टेंसेस वी हैव टू कंसिडर ऑल थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज द फर्स्ट पॉसिबिलिटी इज वेन पॉइंट सी इज बिटवीन द पॉइंट ए एंड बी एज पर द डायग्राम डिस्टेंस ए बी इज द लार्जेस्ट डिस्टेंस देर फोर डिस्टेंस ए बी इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस ए सी प्लस डिस्टेंस सी बी दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू एटीन यूनिट्स इफ वी कंसिडर द सेकेंड पॉसिबिलिटी वेन पॉइंट बी इज बिटवीन द पॉइंट ए एंड सी दैट मीन्स डिस्टेंस ए सी इज द लार्जेस्ट डिस्टेंस नाउ देर फोर डिस्टेंस ए सी इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस ए बी प्लस डिस्टेंस बी सी वी हैव टू फाइंड डिस्टेंस ए बी हियर सो डिस्टेंस ए बी कैन बी ऑप्टेन एज डिस्टेंस ए सी माइनस डिस्टेंस बी सी दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस एट इज इक्वल टू टू यूनिट्स लेट्स कंसिडर द थर्ड पॉसिबिलिटी नाउ वेन पॉइंट ए इज बिटवीन द पॉइंट बी एंड सी एज पर द डायग्राम पॉइंट बी एंड सी आर द एंड पॉइंट देर फोर डिस्टेंस बी सी शुड बी द लार्जेस्ट डिस्टेंस बट फ्रॉम द गिवन लेंथ ऑफ ए सी इज गिवन एज टेन विच इज द लार्जेस्ट डिस्टेंस दैट मीन्स द गिवन एंड द फिगर और द पॉसिबिलिटी आर कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी सो वी कैनॉट कंसिडर दिस पॉसिबिलिटी स्टूडेंट्स let us quickly summarize the new concepts which we have discussed today we discussed about coordinates of points finding distance between any two points using their coordinates and finding betweenness of three collinear points i hope you have understood them very well please revise them at home also see you in the next session bye and take care